Hey, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. Throughout our life, we have moments of joy, moments of sadness, some moments of excitement, and some moments of fear. So come with me as we journey into the wonderful world of emotions. Okay, we're back. And if it's your first time uh, with us today, uh, go ahead and subscribe uh, to the channel. I don't want you to miss any of the deals that Audio Plugin Deals, <laughs> deals that Audio Plugin Deals uh, presents because there are some great uh, opportunities to get some wonderful instruments uh, like the one we're going to be featuring today. Well, not like the one, like the four we're going to be featuring today. And so, um, you know, emotions run the gamut from love. You had me at hello. To joy. <laughs> to anger. This is anger. <laughs> Out of control. <laughs> to fear. Timmy, what is it? It's a velociraptor. And to freedom. As musicians, we have a great opportunity to um, be able to help people connect with their emotions through music, through arranging, through production. Today, we're gonna to take a look at the Emotional Piano Bundle from Sample Tech. Fascinating. This is just a special bundle with some of their really interesting and beautiful sounding pianos and a little variety as well. Okay, so the first piano that we're going to take a look at is the Blue Grand. And the Blue Grand is based on that really beautiful 100-year-old Mamsha piano that uh, they've done the White Grand and the White Sister. But this piano is a little different because they've just mic'd it a little differently and tuned it a little bit differently to give you a really interesting perspective. Okay, so here we have the Blue Grand. And uh, the Blue Grand and all of Sample Tech pianos, they really have a very consistent interface because you can see you have the reverb size, you have release velocities, shimmer. Now shimmer is a cool effect because it, it's like the dampers are just barely sitting on the strings. They're not fully off and they're not fully on. And so this lets you adjust that. Uh, the shimmer effect, so uh, that's right there. <laughs> and you notice that the shimmer effect cannot be higher than the resonant volume. Uh, so there we go. You just hear just like a nice, delicate, um, and airy sound with this. And I've got a little reverb in there, and that just kind of helps give it a little more personality. Uh, Let's just kind of play with that a little bit. See, you can just get taken away with that. Uh, I like that.
and the tuning, it was voiced to kind of give it a different, uh, different tonal color. And I love listening to that low end on these uh, mamshas. seven velocity layers with that, with the blue grand. That's really cool. So you have control over the velocity response and frankly, I'm just kind of leaving that alone. Minimum and maximum velocities. You have the hammerback noise um, and the pedal, pedal volume and uh, I'm just kind of just leaving that alone. <laughs> that just sounds so good. Okay, so let's go on to the next piano, and that is a, a vertical. It's called Vertical with the K, and uh, it's a little different. So come on, let's take a look at that. Well, fascinating is a word I use for the unexpected. Okay, so here we have the vertical with the K. <laughs> Always got to say that because it's, because it's a really interesting. Uh, and the vertical is based on a Yamaha U1 upright piano, and it is just a little different. You hear how different that is from the Blue Grand especially. Here again, it pulls out a different emotion. And uh, that is... Yeah, you couldn't do that with the Blue Grand. <laughs> you could, but it would be, it would sound totally different. It's just, it's just a real raucous uh, Yamaha U1 upright. And, <clears throat> you know, they just created this to give you a little more punch. And like you can hear that. You just hear that just boom, just that upfront punch. You've got two mic perspectives. You have a pop um, perspective and a jazz perspective. So I want to turn up the uh, pop perspective. And again, I'm not really doing anything with the velocity response or even the hammerback volume. Um, I, it's just like, to me, it's just kind of like just jumping out right there out of the box. So let's just take a listen to the, uh, the pop perspective. So that's, that is just right there. That is right there in your face. <laughs> okay, so let's look at the jazz, um, the jazz perspective. It's a little different, a little different mic placement. Uh, and so uh, let's take a listen.
just let it just get carried away sometimes with that. And, you know, just kind of just improvising live, you know, while I'm just hearing these uh, again and uh, just kind of playing where it takes me. That's what these piano, is. that's what libraries do to me. They just take me wherever they want to and I just can follow. That's really a beautiful sounding upright. Uh, that U1, well, it's a Yamaha U1, so you can ex you can't expect anything uh, less than that. And then you can just mix the two together. Um. Having those two perspectives really give it a lot of uh, color opportunities to uh, kind of just do some different things with that. So, okay, so that's the vertical with the K and uh, with the K. <laughs> and you know, Sample Tech has been doing piano libraries for a long time, and they have such a experience with all different kinds of mic positions, different studio environments. And uh, they've just really, they just really have more piano libraries, I think, than any other company that I know. Uh, they've just been doing it for such a long time and doing a terrific job. Okay, now we're going to take a look at the rain piano. And the rain piano is a really different type of upright. It is a, uh, <laughs> it is a, let's see how can I pronounce this. It is a Svenska Piano Fabriken uh, piano and uh, it is modeled after uh, some Tom Waits piano sounds from one of his projects. And, you know, frankly, I need to listen to some of those because uh, they have a lot of influence on how a lot of these libraries are created. The muted sound and the real, uh, really cool ambient, upright, uh, just the raw sound. Wherever you're going. Uh, to get a different, uh, another different color, not, uh, just more, more emotions here. Fascinating. Um, so we have up to 11 velocity layers and it was just uh, conditioned and recorded just to be like a character piano. And again, you'll just see some similar controls, uh, velocity and shimmer and the reverb and all of those things are here as well. Here as well, over there. Yes, over there. Yeah, you'll see over there. <laughs> okay, so let's just uh, let's just get in the rain a little bit and see what happens. And I'm going to just go ahead and turn on the uh, reverb because uh, I just like just to feel some of this um, feel some of this uh, stuff here. Uh, and again, I'm just going to kind of leave some of these alone and just uh, just kind of hear what uh, hear what happens.
hear you hear a little bit of this uh, really cool when you get up in the top. Yeah, like right in there. You just hear some more of that character coming out. Uh, that's really cool. That is really cool. I always am curious about the wrench icon here, and um, that just takes you under the hood uh, with these libraries, and you got to be careful, but I discovered something. I, I did it on the vertical, and I've not done it with this yet, but I'm going to try this uh, and uh, just to see what happens. I'm going to add a delay, and I'm going to add this replica delay. And the thing is, you can, you can save this as a snapshot. You can just see a little bit more of what's going on. Just listen to it. You have, a, you have the... Uh, that's the dry and the wet balance. Let's make it rain. Wow, isn't that cool? That's really nice. And then let's let me show you. So I'm going to click on the camera icon and I'm going to click on the disc icon and it's going to say, uh, please enter a name. And I'm just going to enter in rain delay. And I'm going to say save, and there we go. Um, OBS doesn't pick up those extra windows, and so that's why you didn't see it. But when you click on that uh, snap, that camera icon and the disc, it will it will let you name it, and it will also let you uh, start with that snapshot and change some things, and then you can save it as another one. It'll let you create a, a save as. So that's a good thing to remember. <laughs> So that's the rain piano. Fascinating. So the last piano in the emotional bundle is the small studio grand. And this one really surprised me. This is based on a uh, six one, six foot one Yamaha. So it's a smaller and tighter grand, but it just has just, it has just a really uh, neat tone. And this one uh, actually has up to 28 sample layers. Uh, so it gives you, it gives you a little bit more, uh, I guess more dynamic, but you know, honestly, just playing those other pianos, uh, you know, they are, they are colors in your palette. They're, they're crayons in your toolbox and you need different colors to express those different types of emotions. And so let's just dive in to the uh, small studio grand and take a listen to this. That, that rich low end there in a 6-1. So the C7, the Yamaha C7 is like a standard. Uh, and so the 6.1, it still has this something, something about it. Uh, so 
I don't know. Let's let's see where let's see where it takes us. That's just, that's just got, it's still got that little sparkle in the top. And then that really nice low end. Uh, yeah, down here, it's just really cool. Uh, get a little you can still kind of get really cool with it about a thing <laughs> and if you if you have uh, the right tools and and the right colors you can just do a whole lot of things that's great it would be a fascinating project That's really cool. <laughs> you know, I just enjoy uh, always just exploring because you know what? I'm, um, I'm surprised along with you because I really try just to let the instruments kind of speak, um, to speak for themselves because every piano has an emotion, uh, because every piano has um, a human uh, behind it, a developer behind it, and what they bring to their libraries uh, speaks so many things, speaks volumes. We have to have uh, different tools, different things to help us to express all of the deep emotions and the things that uh, happen in our uh, experience here in our life. Our life experience is full of so many things and uh, what a great uh, privilege and uh, responsibility really for musicians and arrangers and composers to produce uh, music that will help us uh, to uh, deal with everything that's gonna come in this life, to celebrate with us, to grieve with us, to uh, fall in love with us, uh, to, uh, to experience loss, to experience the joy and the gains and the prosperity, uh, the ups and downs of life. That's what makes life interesting is the ups and downs. Can you imagine if it was just like, just stale all the time? Uh, it just wouldn't be that interesting. So um, thanks for joining me. And again, all the links are gonna be in the description uh, to uh, let you find out more about this emotional piano bundle. Uh, sometimes it's good to be a little emo, uh, especially when you have the right uh, tools. And uh, if you have an emotion, 
Well, we have a piano for that. So <laughs> until next time, this is Simeon for Audio Plugin Deals. And don't you worry about a thing. Everything's going to be all right. And we'll see you next time. Please, Spock, do me a favor. And don't say it's fascinating. No. But it is interesting.